Alicia Booth is here now with some advice you'll want to hear if you're trying to keep the pounds off this winter. Yeah, this is especially important if you've managed to lose a little bit of weight over the warmer months, as a lot of, of us do here in Ohio, because we can actually exercise outside. But if you're worried about putting it back on, some brand new data just released a few minutes ago potentially provides us all with a good strategy for approaching the holidays. The season of eating is here, and just in time for the official kickoff, Thanksgiving, there's a new study to help us find a way to keep the weight we lost over the summer from coming back. I thought it was a great study. Registered dietitian Julia Zumpano says the study, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, falls right in line with the advice she already gives many of her patients at the Cleveland Clinic. Pick foods with a lower glycemic index. What that means is it's just a food that is digested slower in in your bloodstream and it doesn't raise your sugar up as quickly. The European study looked at 800 people and those who ate foods with a low glycemic index paired with protein did the best at keeping weight off. When you link those two things together, you feel satisfied, you feel full, and you're not always craving food. And you tend to feel fuller longer. The glycemic index is closely linked to carbs, so chances are if it's high in carbs, it's got a high GI. Potatoes are one of the highest glycemic index foods. Certainly they're good for you, but they do raise the sugar up quickly. Pops, another one, along with most sweets and things like white rice are a no-no. Say yes to the fresh vegetables. Beans are starchy, so you'd think they'd be high on the GI, but they have a lot of fiber, and that slows down the sugar spike. Maybe the best timing of this study has to do with the star of the Thanksgiving holiday, the turkey. Load up, because based on the study, it's a great combination of low glycemic index and high protein. It's a perfect choice for protein. Without the skin, of course. Of course. That combination of foods may sound awfully familiar to you. It's a lot like the South Beach diet, though the authors of this study say they don't officially endorse any commercial diets. Another thing to keep in mind here is that this study was done on Europeans, about 800 of them. You know, their eating habits and their activity levels can be a little bit different from ours, but yeah. I think the advice is pretty sound. And all we can add to this on the day before Thanksgiving is good luck. Yeah, yeah you know what, but I agree with the dietitian I spoke with today. You know what? It's Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourself and then worry about counting carbs and calories tomorrow.